Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're having a look at cutting the ends off a line and having the end of the line go in the direction that you want it to go in. And thank you to the YouTube subscriber who posed this question because it's a really good one. It does not have an easy answer. So here's her problem. She had a couple of curved lines like this and what she wanted to do was to cut them off so that the ends of the line would be parallel to this red line. Well, some of the tools that you think might work are not going to work the way that they should or the way that you would like them to work. So let's have a look at this to start off with. One of the tools that you could use to cut this line is the scissors tool. So what I'm going to do is go here and just click here on the line where this curved line intersects with the line that I actually want to cut it to. So I'm just going to click there and let's just remove the end and see what we're left with. Well, what we're left with is not what we want. You can see that this end is not pointing in the right direction. Now you could make it point in the right direction by just going and grabbing the anchor point here, the handle on this node and just adjusting it so it's pretty much horizontal and then the line will be pretty much vertical at the end. But this is not the line that it was a minute ago. It's got this incredible bump in it. So that's not a viable solution. Now the other solution that will work is to convert this line from being a line into a filled shape. So when it's a line you can see that it's got a stroke here and no fill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand it. So I'll choose object and then expand and click OK. Now it's got a fill and no stroke. It's actually a filled shape. As a filled shape it's much easier to cut the end off it and there are any number of ways that we can do that. One of the simplest ways and one that you're probably never going to forget is this to use the rectangle tool and what we're going to do is we're just going to drag a rectangle over the piece that we want to remove and I'm just going to change its color so it's a little bit more obvious what we're doing here. So I've got a black line here that is now no longer a line, it's a filled shape and I've got the piece that is covering the bit that I want to remove. So I'm going to select the black shape and the blue shape. So I've got both of those selected and what I want to do is to subtract this from this and we can do that with something that's called minus front. So we're subtracting the blue shape area from the black shape You'll go across here to the Pathfinder which of course you can get to by choosing Window and then Pathfinder and you're just going to click here on Minus Front. And now we get a shape that is exactly what we want at the end. Of course what we've done in the process is that we've compromised this because it is no longer a line and it won't ever be a line again. It's actually a filled shape. But in the instance of the subscriber, this was what she wanted to end up with. She wanted the end the way she wanted it to be and the fact that she compromised this and it was no longer a line really wasn't of concern to her. What was important was that she got this end result. And of course you can see there's a very big difference between this shape here which still has that blunt end and this one here. This is way more true to what it was that she wanted. So just be aware that when you cut lines whatever tool you use to cut a line the end of that line is going to be dictated. The angle that it goes in is going to be dictated by the angle of the line and the nodes and anchor points on it and you won't be able to fudge it so it's straight without losing the quality of the line. If it's the quality of the end that you want and the fact that it's not a line doesn't worry you then just expand it. Go and select your line, choose object and expand. What that does is it turns your line from being a line into a filled shape. Then you can go and make a shape that you can use to cut the end off. So just drag over it with a shape. I just like to recolor mine just so you can see what's going on. It might be a bit clearer to you as to what's happening. Select the line and select the shape that you want to use to cut it. And then just go to the Pathfinder and select minus front and you've got the end cut off. Now you could also use the Shape Builder tool. Let's just get rid of this one. Let's go and expand this one with Object and then Expand. 
Now I can grab both the line that I wanted to use to cut and also the shape I want to cut it to and just go to the Shape Builder tool. In this case, I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key and just drag through the portion of the line that I don't want. And what we're left with is the bit that I do want. But again, it's not a line per se, it is a filled shape. So I hope this has helped you understand a little bit about what you end up with when you use tools like the scissors tool and the shape builder tool to cut through lines. It may not be the end result that you want. You may be better served to expand your shape and then cut the piece off that you don't want. Now before we finish up this video, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer. Typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at Udemy.com and there's a referral link for every one of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.